you purchased a new computer in 2006 for $2,100. In 2010, the computer was worth $700. We want to know the annual rate of change from 2006 to 2010, and also, if the value continues to drop at the same rate, what will the computer be worth in the year 2013? To model the value of the computer, we'll be using an exponential function in this form here, where b, the base, is equal to 1 plus r, where r is the exponential growth or decay rate, a is equal to the initial value, or the function value, when x equals 0, and x is the exponent. So looking at the information that we're given, we're going to let 2006 be the base year, and notice how in 2006 the value of the computer was $2,100. And since 2006 is the base year, we're going to let t equals 0 represent the year 2006. And this is a very common procedure when the time is given as a year. It's also very helpful because if t equals 0 represents the year 2006, that means f of 0 must equal $2,100 which means $2,100 is the initial value or the value of A. Next we know that in 2010, the computer is worth $700. So if the year is 2010, that means T is equal to 2010 minus the base year of 2006. So T is equal to 4, which means F of 4 must equal $700. So it's important to remember t is a number of years after our base year of 2006. Because we're using the variable t, so far we know that f of t is equal to 2,100 times b raised to the power of t. And notice how when t is equal to 0, this function value is equal to 2,100 because b to the 0 power is equal to 1. Now we can use f of 4 equals 700 to solve for the base b. f of 4 would be equal to 2,100 times the base b raised to the fourth power, which we know must equal 700. So now we'll solve this equation for b. So the first step is dividing both sides by 2,100. So we have b to the fourth equals this simplifies to one-third. And now we want b, not b to the fourth. So we can take the fourth root of both sides or raise both sides to the one-fourth power. Remember, when we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So on the left, we just have b to the first or b. And then for one-third of the one-fourth power, we'll use the calculator. So we have the fraction one-third raised to the one-fourth power. This exponent does need to be in parentheses. So this is going to be approximately 0 0.7598. Which means the exponential function that we'll use to model the value of the computer will be f of t equals 2,100 times 0 0.7598 raised to the power of t, where t is the number of years after 2006. So to answer our first question, what is the annual rate of change from 2006 to 2010? We need to remember that our base, 0 0.7598, is equal to 1 plus r, where r will be the annual rate of change. So we would have 0. 7598 equals 1 plus r. So we'll subtract 1 on both sides. This difference here is negative 0 0.2402. It's negative because the value is decreasing. So if we convert this to a percentage, this would be 24.02. So we can say the annual rate of change is a decrease of 24.02% in value per year from 2006 to 2010.
Next we're asked, if the value continues to drop at the same rate, what will the computer be worth in the year 2013? So the first step here is to determine what would be the value of t for the year 2013. Well, t is equal to the desired year of 2013 minus the base year of 2006. This is equal to seven. So to find the value of the computer for 2013, we need to evaluate f of seven, which would be 2,100 times 0 0.7598 raised to the power of seven. And now we'll go back to the calculator and round this value to the nearest dollar. Raised to the seventh power. So the value of the computer continues to drop at the same rate per year. In the year 2013, the computer will be worth approximately $307. I hope this explanation helps.